Hey world, I'm coming at you with a Q O Q uh, a Q and A, and I think I called these something like Ask Audrey or something in the past. I honestly have no idea. And um, I'm also gonna tell you the giveaway winner, which I'm going to tell you right now. The giveaway winner is over here. It ended December first. I didn't like remind you guys very often for this giveaway um, because it only lasted nine days and like I don't get a lot of video up well I got two videos up in between but I didn't get to remind you guys a lot but don't worry there will be more giveaways so I asked you guys to leave me questions um, on a video called like a plea for help or something I'll link it down below and now I'm going to do the questions I picked my favorite questions and questions I don't think a lot of people ask a lot and ones that I think you guys will learn from the camera is set up a little differently today I don't know if you've noticed I put it like kind of like higher and like aimed lower I thought it would give like a different kind of aspect because I'm starting to see that like my videos kind of all look the same and it's annoying me so I'm gonna try and vary it up also I have some Christmas lights up I'm sorry not Christmas lights like holiday life. Sarah W says what are you most afraid of and I actually went to a little like writing workshop fourth period one day uh, like for English class and in the workshop they asked us this question a bunch of a series of questions that you had to write down without thinking of the answer and I actually said failure and I think if I was asked that even given like a lot a long amount of time I would say failure I really think I'm afraid of death also which I mean that like makes sense like you know survival mode failure is like my biggest thing like I I'm a rather determined person like I know that if I'm going to fail something I try and do it like on my own terms like I don't know like if I fail like like I, I think a test is not like really considered failure but like if I know I'm gonna fail like a quiz or something it's because like I didn't put in the work to do it and I'm not like scared of that kind of failure do you know what I'm saying so thank you Sarah for asking that question nail polish addicted 143 asks, what is your favorite Starbucks drink and what is your favorite song so I haven't been to Starbucks recently I really have been going to Dunkin Donut uh, I don't know why I think it's like just a lot more convenient and it's like a few bucks cheaper and I've been loving the drinks from there from Dunkin Donuts I'm gonna get into Starbucks one too but from Dunkin Donuts I was living for um, the ice caramel lattes you know super like regular bougie um, you know my whole like the whole existence that I've had at Dunkin but I recently was getting their um, frozen hot chocolates I love the salted caramel one I think it's so so good and yeah so from Starbucks I always get the ice caramel macchiato with like extra caramel because I love it so much and that's what I get from there with whipped cream and my favorite song that's like so hard like I definitely can't pick a favorite song but on one of my college applications it said like what song is your like um like what song is your theme music like you know how every TV show has like the theme music for the TV show and then like even like when things happen in the show like for I feel like that's like so like Spongebob like Seinfeld it's like with like comedies really um like Full House always does a da 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 you know like they just have like little cues and I feel like my song like for that like my background music is Take the World by Storm by Lucas Graham again that ties into my whole like failure thing and like how I just want to like succeed and all that stuff so that kind of goes into what Christy and Kim asked me she said who is your favorite singer and I love you too by the way and my favorite singer my favorite band is Lucas Graham I have been living for them um, I also love Alessia Cara, Ed Sheeran, um, Miley Cyrus. Misty2004 asked, what's your favorite phone case? Oh god. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll pull it at the end. We'll, we'll revisit this question. Hey guys, so I think that, uh, I'm <laughs> from the future, I think that my favorite phone case is a cross between these two. This is the, of course, very durable phone case that everyone has accredited me for. And um, this one's just one of those falling water ones. I don't know what it is about these, but I love them so much. I think they were like some of the first in my collection. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. I just, I really like them a lot. I don't know. They say a lot about me. And I've had this phone case on for like so long. So honestly, I'm going to change it right now. Catherine Cecilia asked, who is the most influential person in your life? Definitely my mom. I feel like... I am around my mom the most, like, growing up, like, just, like, I'm always around my mom, like, you know, I'm just always with her, she's my mom, so I feel like she's, like, taught me, like, just to do the right thing always, um, 
I don't know, like judgment isn't like something that has to be ingrained in your mind. I don't get deep on my channel a lot. I don't know. And she taught me like work ethic and and like maybe don't take care of all your responsibilities. I don't know. I know it sounds dumb. Then Dominique Williams said, my question is, what are you planning on going to college for and where? Girl, I wish I knew. But um, I love you so much too. I definitely plan on going to college for film. Um, by the way, I plan on going to university. I know that's like different in other countries. Like you guys, like college is like different from university. I plan on going to university. I really, really with my whole heart, and I talk about this a lot on my blog channel, and I plan on talking about it more. I really, really, really want to go to University of Southern California. I talk about this to all my friends, anyone that can listen. I put it on my Finsta all the time. I put it on my real stuff all the time. By the way, follow me on Instagram. I li on my Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. I do following sprees sometimes, so you should follow me so I can follow you back. I don't know, man. Like, I just want to go there so badly. Like, I think everyone knows about this school basically because I talk about it all the time. My teachers know that I want to go there. And I I want to go to their film school. I also wouldn't mind going into their animation department. I really would love to work with that. If I don't get into animation, I want to minor in animation there. Hey guys, I'm back. It's only been like a couple of hours. So let me just explain why I'm such an irresponsible teenager. So basically, my camera battery kept saying like, oh, it's dying, it's dying. And I kept saying, oh, it'll be fine. And then it died. And then I realized I had a computer science project that I didn't do. So I sat and did that for a couple of hours. And then the battery was fully charged. So now we're back. So that was just to explain why the lighting um, probably changed and stuff like that. So let's get back to what we were doing. I don't know what question we were on even. Oh, we were talking about college. Yeah, my life's a mess. So I really want to go to USC for film. I'm sure I disclosed that with you. Um, I'm talking about college all the time on my second channel. You should subscribe. I think we're done now. What is your favorite part about fall? Now she wrote this when it was fall. It's still fall, but it's kind of, I mean, it's it's fall until December 22nd, but in New York, it's pretty much winter. Um, I really, I'm not feeling this light. My favorite part about fall is the weather. I, I mean, that's so obvious probably, but I love the cold. I will talk about this to anyone. I know every, like almost everyone agree, um, disagrees with me. They're like, oh my God, you don't like the summer? You don't like it when it's hot? You like the cold? Ew, you're gross. No, I love the cold. I love sweatshirts. I love being inside when it's cold out. I love being outdoors when it's cold out. I just love everything about the winter and nothing about the summer. <laughs> Except for the fact that there's no school in the summer. I still don't get that. Everyone's like, yeah, but don't you like summer? There's no school. And I'm like, yeah, but that's that's only because it's not it's nothing to do with the fact that it is summer. There just is no school. I, I'm rambling now. Ay vey, ay vey. I love these Q and A's because it gets you guys like like to know me a little bit better. So uh, yeah. Also, don't forget that I have a PO box so we can be pen pals together. That would be pretty lit. I'm glad that you guys came on this journey with me. I hope you learned a little bit more about me, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, world. I took a drive in the middle of the night The first time I've done that without you By my side An hour song was playing on the radio It seems to follow me